I feel as though I have a personal relationship with each person in this work. And if I could meet every one of them, that would be fantastic. But I think that's what makes the work special because there's a relational quality and that's super important to me. Hi, my name is Georgia Fullerton. I'm a visual artist and an expressive arts therapist and an arts educator. I've been creating art, I mean, over the past 30 plus years. It's been a long time. So my piece, which I just recently titled it, it's called For the Win and the Wonder. And here's my intention. Because I'm an expressive arts therapist, I really rely on reading people's expressions, whether they're audible or just visual expressions. And so for this piece, I wanted something that was dynamic. I wanted something that would show each individual in the fan piece having like the most amazing moment like in that moment where they have just seen the last three pointer hit before the clock runs out of time or they just saw the most amazing artist do something magnificent on stage i wanted to capture that but also i wanted it to be a piece that would stop the show you know the motto um bringing the world to its feet i wanted it to have that vibe as well but i chose several images that I thought fitting sort of that excitement, that expressive look and feel. And I was taking my influence from the look of movie posters, came up with a concept, very dynamic, large and small images as you can see, and um, worked with that. The dynamic of the, the piece, I wanted it to be diverse as well, not just the look of it, but the people, the subjects that are in the piece, I wanted to pull from every culture, every race, if I could. Part of my inspiration too, and this happens with almost any artwork that I do, is I'll either be inspired by a word, the particular medium I'm gonna use, a color, or an experience. And in this case, I absolutely love the new Scotiabank Arena logo. And I thought, oh, these colors are contemporary, they're dynamic let me go based on this. I knew I wanted that abstract part to hold those Scotiabank Arena logo colors. And so that's what I did for that. And that was, that was a huge launch for the inspiration for the rest of the piece and how colorful it actually is. So from there, it was layers and layers of paint. I started with all of the faces first and then I chose jerseys and colors and so on. It was actually a challenge. I was averaging about eight to nine hours a day, and I think I've probably, I'm guesstimating, probably about 80 plus hours so far. You will notice in my studio that I have recyclable pads that I put my paint on, and it was just a way for me to track how much time I was spending and what colors I was using that particular day, so I've got a whole whack of them that are dated that show um, sort of a process in, in an abstracted way. When they see this particular piece, I, I do want them to be held. I want them to be held in the trance of it, in the wonder of it. I want them to put themselves in that crowd and say, well, this is how I feel, whether I'm at a sporting event, an arts-related event, an entertaining event. I want people to be able to look at it and say, isn't humanity wonderful when we can all come together? Because that's the one commonality here, that they're all there to be mesmerized. They're all there to be entertained and engaged. And if there is a word, I think engaged would be the word I want them to be when they view it. I want it to capture them and stop them in their feet, and I want them to relate to any particular person in this crowd.